So this is Daughter Shaman Sings Your Blood Anthem. Of all the beasts in your chattel, I am the most meek. The little blaspheme that fits on the edge of your scalloped tongue. There is just enough room for me to flint spark a microscopic chaos in the blood, the viral song that wears out the vitals of its chanteuse. Then lifts from that still body to begin again. I am then the secret you believe stayed still between you and the one who buried you under the white birch, its frail limbs wavering for you, for you when you could not move. And then, double surprise, I have another chapbook other than that one coming out next year. Thank you for the clapping. Um, pretty weird stuff. Feeling pretty, pretty good, I guess. And awkward, because I'm me. So this is a... <laughs> This is a poem from that other chapbook. Oh yeah, and that one's called Red and Vast. And I'm really so happy to have my LGBTQ studies people here because it will focus a lot on uh, tropes, themes, issues from that. Uh, Dancing Girl Press is the publisher that has said, I would like it, and I said, thank you. So you can expect that in the future. Uh, this poem uh, was taken by Icarus Anthology, so last time I looked you are able to read it online, so if I'm lucky enough to get it stuck in your head, it's on the internet. You can go look at it again before you buy my job book, I guess. And this is a, I love long titles, as you might have noticed, so. Uh, there is a certain decorum of patience expected in young women, still. That's the title. <laughs> But it feels correct to lean into the wound. I keep my head up with my fists, and the new sutures of my gums split open in an allegro for my hearing only. My mouth is the instrument of abuse. My ears are the fox furrows where most sounds are dead on arrival. A ghost is an emotion racked into physical form bound to repeat itself until resolution. So goes the same of the living songs. Shape notes written in silver on vellum, on tree vellum, on trash vellum, for no death is unholy. For my new cropping of white hairs sinks so lightly, but the sound carries above the rest. Those dark hairs the color of sin, they thread themselves into knots, Repetition bound until I rip them out. Do not mistake me for a minstrel of beauty, though I will not ignore her entrance into this flux. I can only sing with the sound of the wound reopening, with the sound of relief, the hairs whitening. Thank you.